channel um, watchers. Mm. This morning we are here with Ronnie and her four puppies. Um, this is the ocean litter. We're gonna get their weights to make sure that they're all growing and healthy and doing well. And then we're gonna do a little early neurological stimulation on them. So early neurological stimulation is just a series of positions and sensations that we put them through to help wake up their nervous system. So it's super gentle, it doesn't hurt them, it just puts them through a little bit of discomfort, but not much. But um, there's lots of studies and research that shows that it's um, super beneficial for the dog it, long term for their nervous system. All right, so I've got my scale right here. I'm gonna start with getting their weights. All right, let's start with, this is Coral. She's got the little purple collar and she is 12 and a half ounces. She's growing so well. So for ENS first, we're gonna hold her upright with the blood rush down. We'll count to five and then we'll go back to normal position. Good girl. Then we'll hold her on her back. One, two, three, four, five. Look at her relax. Back to normal. And then we'll hold her upside down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, what a good girl. And then just to sit on something cold for a few seconds. Two, three, four, five. They never like that one. And then I'm just going to take the end of my pen and we're supposed to tickle their toes. Just a little bit. And we accept the sensations down there. Here's a quick curl. Okay. Okay, you did good. And then I always take a chance, this chance to check them, check that her collar could use a little bit of loosening. So that is Coral. She is all done. You did great, little girl. Okay, put her back here. I'm going to grab Marina. She's the other female in this litter um, since she was not nursing yet. So she's one of the, s well, no, she's the same size as, no, 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 don't get in front of the camera. Back up. Mm -hmm. 13 ounces. So she's actually grown a little bit more than her sister. That's good. All right. Okay. So ENS. One, two, three, four, five. All done. And there is our numbers. Where's the hot? Who's the big? Okay. We're gonna say you guys are giving them all their daily one-on-one -on -one time today, so that is good. Riley, which one's your favorite? Um, the, 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 I think the girls are my favorite. Both the girls? Yeah. You know what I think my favorite is Marina. Yeah, I like, I like that one too. Yeah. Jordan, which I one's like your favorite? Too. Oh. You like Tide? The big boy? Yeah. And well, I, I mostly like him because of his name. You like that name? Yeah. Cool.
So we have two dogs in heat. We've got Reagan and Izzy that are both in heat. So we're excited for some puppies born in August and ready to leave to their new homes in October. Um, Izzy's will be F1B Bernadoodles and Reagan's will be F1B Golden Doodles. I'm trying to talk. And um, so these two litters are the litters we highly recommend for those who have allergies or any types of allergies. Um, so the reason that these are gonna be good for allergies is that they are gonna be 75% poodle, the F1B generation, and um, so the least amount of shedding, the least amount of dander released. I'm always really careful to tell people that, not to count on them being 100% hypoallergenic because no animal is 100% hypoallergenic and I also don't tell anybody that they are 100% non-shedding because once again, they'll always lose hair here and there. You'll always find any hair-filled animal, you will find some hair here and there. So I have to be careful not to like, I don't wanna mislead anybody. But that being said, Izzy and Reagan's litters will be the best for lower shedding and best for lower allergy symptoms or whatever. So there is a waiting list for both of those dogs. I think there's about 20 people on both of the waiting lists, but you never know. It's still worth joining. Also decided that we're gonna give Winston, he's down here, give Winston a try with Izzy. I think, I mean, he's old enough. Yeah, so we're gonna let him at least practice, if not, you know, sire the litter with Izzy. Clark, we love you. Kieran Denali downstairs and Ronnie is down there too. Hey Jordan, will you make sure that Ronnie's gate is closed? Okay. Okay, run down there now. Okay, so they're gonna stay down there. We're gonna have Reagan. Let's get her. Reagan! Reagan! We're gonna keep Reagan in here because we need her to breed with Duke later and if we keep her separated, then, um, then he'll be more excited. And it just works out better. This is kind of what we have to go through every time we leave the house. We have to figure out where all the dogs are supposed to go and it's this huge hassle, yeah, yeah. And, but it's okay. Someday we'll actually have like a nice setup with kennels and stuff like that so we can separate them out easier. But for now, it's the basement, the garage, the house, and trying to figure out all of those places. So part of our business that I don't really show all that often, but um, since I was working on it right now, I thought I'd um, give you a little glimpse, is just the behind the scenes of the paperwork and the record keeping and the um, website and the marketing and all that stuff, which I spend a lot of my time doing. But so right now I'm just putting together our litter binders and so we're doing a separate binder for every litter so this one is Denali's and just on the front page is kind of a, a quick reference page of like dates and the mom and dad and the theme and then once the puppies are born we'll fill in the puppies names and their marking or their collar color inside the binder we've got a breeding record um, pregnancy notes just as they go through their pregnancy at the dates and just any big changes that we see uh, whelping supply list whelping record this is just what we fill out while the puppies are being born weight charts dewormer record we do every two weeks um, so we like to keep track of that these are milestones that puppies typically go through so I like to keep track of those because 
um, a lot of these milestones indicate um, when we should move on with our next phase of training or socialization. So, and then here is our calendar, and here is every week, so for week three, these are all the things that have to happen during that week for their proper, you know, health, grooming, training and socialization, things we'll do in the pen, and then customers or marketing stuff we'll typically do for that. This is their daily one-on-one -on -one time. And then these are just training exercises and we kind of give each puppy a score to be able to keep track of how, they, how well they do and if they need more work in a certain area. And then at the end is just information I use for the future families. And then in the back, I've got our new litter branding that we're doing. So yeah, I've kind of decided to do a separate brand design for each litter. I just thought it would be fun to have like a cohesive look that appears online on like the website and social media and all that. So this is Denali's for this one. We're doing a mountain litter. So I based the colors off of, you know, kind of grays and blues and greens and stuff like that for mountains and um, made some watercolor graphics to use and a logo and all that stuff. So totally just me having fun but I think it'll be nice and then for those people who want to follow a specific litter they can you know whenever they see on social media just scrolling past like oh hey that's the branding for my litter I don't know maybe it'll work out that way but I mean this is Akira's I went with more of a vintagey look um, but it, hers is the tree litter and then I don't have Ronnie's up here but hers is the ocean litter and then finally this is our website this is the back end of our website so all the um, all the pages and stuff that I do, I I probably update the website almost every day, if not every week for sure, and update with information and um, new pictures and everything like that. So that's always fun. Since Akira and Izzy, or Akira, since Reagan and Izzy just came into heat, I'm working on putting together their litter binders. So I printed out just the first couple of pages that we'll need until the puppies are born. I'm not going to print out the rest um, until the puppies are born, but the breeding record, pregnancy record, stuff like that. Put in the nice dividers, and that's what I'm going to do for Izzy's as well. Look who's taking a break from her puppies. Ronnie, you seem a little too happy. Sorry, Akira, I can't let you play with that. You'll make a mess. 